Hello and welcome back to the Graceful Tangle YouTube channel. As you can probably already tell, this video is a little bit different, but I'm so excited for what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. But first, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that. And then don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. I'm also going to have so many links down in the description box um, of this video of some things I'm going to be talking about today, some things I'm going to be sharing with you guys. Um, so definitely be, be sure to check out that resource before you leave the video. So in today's video, I'm going to be kind of taking you through how I plan um, a month of content, a month of projects that I want to work on, a month of designs that I either want to release or get started depending on, you know, where I am in that design process. Um, and yeah, so I've talked about it the past couple of podcast episodes. I actually made an Instagram post recently about this, but I am officially entering a new season of life. I graduated college um, at the time of filming this week, but in early August I graduated and, you know, maybe I'll make the decision to go back um, to a different college later on in life. But for now, that season of life is closed and I am moving on to the next one. And for me, that means um, keeping a job that I have right now outside of the home and then staying in the home and working on all things business to grow this channel and all of the other social media platforms um, and just design all of the things and take it as full-time if you want to say that as I can and I am so so excited for what the next few months are going to hold um but to kind of kick that whole entire journey off I have a new planner and I'm very excited about this so a big point of my personality is to plan I really love knowing what to expect and knowing when things are going to happen I'm kind of like being in control um that is not always a good thing and I am learning to balance that with you know being flexible um and i have learned a lot about that in the past couple of years but i'm excited to use this as kind of a foundation of you know my days months um designs etc and still continue to learn how to just go with the flow because it comes easier for some people than it does to others and i'm one who really appreciates structure so Anyway, this planner, I want to talk a little bit about it because um, it is a very big part of what this video is actually about. And stay tuned for a giveaway at the end of the episode. But this is a day designer planner. Um, I'm so excited about this. I have wanted a planner like this for a while. Um, it's kind of a big deal. It is a pretty big planner. This is this is the full size. Um, so it has, and this is a daily planner as well, so it has an entire page for every day. So like, just for example, this is October 7th, so we're nowhere near here, but um, this is what a full day looks like. So you have a column that has times on it, if that's something like, you know, if you're going to be home all day, or if you know exactly what you're going to be doing at a certain time, um, that would be really helpful. Then it has another list that is just for to-dos that you can kind of check off. And then it has a few other boxes, um, today's top three. I'll share more about this um, as I get into it. And then, like, a few other little notes as well. Um, but, yeah, I'm really loving the layout of this planner. It's my first one that's, like, the full size. Um, and, yeah, I'm excited to just kind of jump into it. So, the first thing that I like to do in terms of planning is just to write down um, all of my current works in progress, all of the current things that I'm hoping to finish throughout the month of in this case August um and then start brainstorming some designs and things that I would like to publish this month this month so let's go ahead and hop into that okay so I have gone through and made a couple of lists um I did all of my current works in progress of more than I thought it was honestly um, and then some designs that I'm currently working on so I have a few that I am like very much in the process of making I am designing a new knit tee pattern um, I'm hoping to make some really really good progress over the course of this month but that will not be coming out until um, much later down the road I'm working on a pillow right now and that is going to be releasing releasing later this month same for a DK weight beanie pattern um, and then I'm also working on a bulky beanie pattern that won't be releasing until later as well. So I've laid out those designs. I've laid out the patterns that I either have already released because we are a few days into August. 
um, or ones that I am planning on releasing. My schedule right now, um, just from a personal standpoint, is to release patterns on those days. That just works well with this current season of life and my posting schedule on Instagram. Um, so yeah, that's working really well lately. And there are four those days in the month of August. Um, and then today, as I'm filming this, it is Thursday, August 11th. And I did not release a pattern this week, but I have two more planned for the rest of this month. So those are going to be lined up perfectly on the next two Thursdays. Um, really, really excited about those. Those are some really fun and also pretty simple patterns. So I'm very excited to hear what you guys think when those patterns are released. But anyway, so that's kind of the design wise. I'll also say that in this video, I'm talking about, you know, from a business standpoint, gardening standpoint, projects, you know, works of progress, things I want to finish, things I want to design, etc. This is not like a overarching life planner. My job is very, very flexible <laughs> right now. And so I can't really plan. Like I, I kind of have goals and plan everything around that. Um, it's not like a set, you know, arrive and leave at this time every single day. So, um, anyways, that's what I just did. So now I am going to take the planner. I have it all, um, laid out. I have it in the month of August right now. I really like how it has, you know, an entire layout, layout of the entire month at the beginning of the month. Um, and then each day is on its separate page, like I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to jump in and try to make a few goals for the month. Um, and then I will kind of show you how I divide those up amongst the days. Okay, so this is how I've laid everything out right now, just in the full month, um, kind of, full month at a glance kind of situation. I have designs that I'm going to be, um, completing and releasing this month. It'll, it'll focus designs that I'm going to be working on or starting, and then personal projects that I'm hoping to finish this month and that I have going on um, right now. So these are my, um, almost all my other whips that aren't designs, um, but I'm actually hoping to get each of these things done throughout um, the month of August as well. So, and then I also in this purple pen, which by the way, these are my absolute favorite pens, the Papermint Flare. I love them. I will link them down below all-time favorite um anyway so in the purple ink i have kind of marked in just some specific day deadlines that i want to um accomplish and wanted to have down in paper so like the blanket i'm trying to release it or finish it um by the end of this month so my plan is to kind of post about it on the 31st which is the last day um so surely it'll be done by then but yeah so now um let's talk about individual days so day by day wise, the amount of time that I spend knitting and crocheting and working on business stuff in general fluctuates greatly. I do so much over the weekends and then throughout the week I do it mostly, you know, in the evenings or early in the morning. Um, like I said, it changes day to day, honestly, but that's kind of where I'm working right now. Um, and because of that, I don't set structured amounts to get done every single day that just makes me feel more pressured and it doesn't make me enjoy it as much so I kind of like to have these overarching goals of things that I want to accomplish throughout the month um so that I'm more determined to finish you know maybe one thing at a time instead of focusing on um a little bitty piece of every single project so a really good example of this would be um socks Vanilla socks, personally, are something that if I'm not doing something else while I'm working on them, I just get bored because it's just the knit stitch over and over. So if I have a day when, you know, we're going to watch a movie or something, then I'm going to make a lot of progress on those socks because it's a mindless project. But if I have a day where I am, you know, busy and then come home and immediately start working on a specific pattern, I might not work on those socks all day and I might not have the time to do so. So, you know do whatever works best for you planning wise but um for me that's definitely how I have learned that I thrive the best um having a set list of things I want to get done but not having a specific amount that I have to accomplish you know in quotation marks on that exact day now another thing that I wanted to mention um so obviously you know I'm working on releasing the a few specific patterns this month but I'm also brainstorming patterns that I'm going to be releasing over the next few months um, because designing is a crazy big long process and so um, I'm going to be starting you know new designs this month that won't be releasing until later so I have yours picked out um, these I'm hoping to design a colorwork beanie pattern 
um, to release on the first day of fall this year, and I'm going to be using these two yarn colors for that. Um, this is Knit Picks Twill. I'm not sure the colorway names. Um, it might be like Harvest and Orchata. I'm not 100% sure on that, um, but that's a good guess. I love Knit Picks Twill, though, so I'm excited to combine these two. I think they look so pretty together. Um, and then I went ahead and pulled out this yarn just to kind of remind myself that I'm working on these projects. I'm using this yarn for a velvet Tunisian crochet pillow that I'm going to be launching this month. Um, I am using this yarn, which is some Knit Picks Gloss DK for the um, DK Beanie I'm going to be releasing also later this month. And then um, Dishy. Throughout this entire year, I am posting a dishcloth make-along, and all of that information is down below. Um, but a goal that I've set for myself is to... Um, design and dishcloth pattern each month so next week i've kind of tried to like alternate them between crochet pattern and knit pattern month to month it's not that kind of dry but next month i do want to do a crochet pattern and i have a really awesome design already in my mind so i pulled this off my shelf just to kind of again remind myself of that and also just to gain inspiration from the color because i adore this color um it is let's see if it's on here somewhere inlay if you're curious, it is like the most beautiful light green. So that's kind of how I go about planning, um, planning my month, you know, project wise, obviously there's so much more to life than just knitting and crocheting. But, um, from the standpoint of a fiber arts, that is how I go about planning. So just kind of break it down a little bit. I make a list of, um, all of the current whips that I have going on right now. Because I also design patterns, I make a separate list of designs that I currently have going on and goals that I want to accomplish the month for that. Um, and then I break it down into either weeks or um, just kind of keep it at that list standpoint, as I mentioned earlier, so that I don't get into a pit of feeling, you know, unmotivated because I don't know what to work on. I can just refer directly back to this list. So I hope this was inspirational for you and that you kind of gained a bit of... Um, you know, just insight onto how I plan. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Um, but before I let you go, like I mentioned, I do have a giveaway. So, um, day designer, I um, am partnering with them to host a giveaway. So, if you would like to receive a planner just like this one, I highly, highly recommend it. Um, simply leave a comment on this video. Um, you can also, if the comments are not working, I know I've had issues with YouTube and not in the past, you can send an email to thegracefultangle at gmail.com and that is linked um, down below in the description box. And then you can also click a link down there. Again, it's all labeled um, for an Instagram post that I have up and that will also count as your entry or as an additional entry. Um, so head over there if you'd like to receive a planner. Um, I love this one. This is the um, Graceful print, if you're curious. If you're looking on their site and want to pick one out yourself. Um, yeah, I absolutely love it. And I'll be sharing more and more about it as the next few months progress. And definitely let me know if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you so, so much for watching. All of the other giveaway information will be listed down below. Um, but yeah, I will see you all again next time. Bye. Thank <music> you.